All right, I'm here with a first ever look, actually, at my Sega Genesis collection. Um, <clears throat> this is a system that I have not ever done a collection video for, so I figured I should probably fix that right now, I would say. So, a um, little history with the Genesis. The Genesis is actually the first system that I've ever owned, the first game system I've ever played before. Um, <clears throat> I got a Genesis. It was old well, by the time I got it. <clears throat> you know, not obviously not too old, but... Uh, it was a hand-me-down system I got from someone from from someone at my mom's work, and it's the first system I ever played. And um, you can probably track the ruination of my life um, to this system. So <laughs> uh, this is what got me into games. And uh, I actually have some of the original games that I got handed down with that. A lot of them I didn't don't still have because I traded them off like an idiot um, <clears throat> when I first started getting into collecting. And some of the games I got on there weren't so hot, you know, like some Tom and Jerry games and stuff, so I got rid of them, but uh, just, you know, kind of for posterity, I wish I would have kept them, but what can you do? Um, so I got a decent amount of cart-only games I'll start out with. Uh, I try not to collect cart-only for the Genesis, but, I mean, you know, you when you go out game hunting like I do, go to garage store sales and thrift stores and everything, uh, and you find a good deal on a cart-only game, you can't help but you can't, you know, pass it up. So first here... Um, the Adventures of Batman and Robin. Pretty alright game. Nothing spectacular, but pretty it, better than some of the other um, Batman games on the 16-bit era. Um, Back to the Future 2 and 3. A lot of these games, I'm going to try to keep this video not like 40 minutes long. A lot of these games I might not have a lot to say about. Either I haven't played them, or uh, I just... <laughs> Don't have much to say about, you know, some mascot platformer that no one cares about. So, um, Castlevania Bloodlines. I actually got this one at a Goodwill for a dollar or two. Really good deal. Really good deal. This was actually like hidden within the dishes at the Goodwill one time. And um, definitely recommend that one if you're into classic Castlevania um, and you ha haven't played this one for any reason. Uh, check it out. It's definitely it's definitely a great classic Castlevania game. Um, and it is on that uh, Castlevania collection uh, that they put out on like PS4 and Switch and Xbox. Uh, it's on that. So, um, and that's I think 20 bucks for a whole bunch of old Castlevanias. That's a good deal already. But that's also I think on the Genesis Classic too, which I highly recommend. This is called Sh Chalkin. Um, looks kind of like the Share Zone. If you know that Twitter page, the Share Zone, reminds me of that. Uh, just gonna clue. It's clue on the Genesis. Uh, columns. This is kind of like uh, the Tetris equivalent for the Sega. Dr. Robotnik's mean pe Bean Machine, which we now kind of know more as just Poyo Poyo. Uh, this is just a Poyo Poyo, Poyo th themed around Dr. Robotnik. I don't know why I don't have that one complete, unless maybe I do. We'll, we'll find out. Fatal Fury. Cool game. Uh, cool to see Terry in Smash Brothers. Uh, Galaxy Force 2. Not familiar with that one. Oh. Garfield, caught in the act. Um, it's a Garfield... I mean, it's not actually too bad, but it's not anything... I'd really highly recommend Golden Axe 2. Golden Axe is kind of cool. Uh, it's th definitely not one of my favorite Sega franchises by any means, but I, I kind of like what they're going, what they went for with it. Lethal Enforcers, um, one of the games that caused a lot of controversy. Controversy back when the SRB was created because of the realistic-looking gun that they had with it. Uh, McDonald's Treasureland <laughs> Adventure. Bring back the fast food games. I want more fast. I want like more Sneak King and the terrible McDonald's games. Mickey Mania. Uh, I'm not familiar with this Mickey game. Uh, a lot of the Disney and Mickey games of the 16-bit era, though, are pretty decent. So I'm sure that one's not too bad. Midnight Resistance. I am not familiar with this one. I didn't know I had this, actually. The card-only stuff I have is a lot of just kind of thrown-together stuff, so 
Uh, I'm not quite as familiar with a lot of it. The Menacer cart uh, that you use for the Menacer light, you know, light gun type thing. I do not have a Menacer. It's something I'd like to get. Pac-Man 2, The New Adventures is a very, very bizarre Pac-Man game. I can't really <laughs> say it's good. Um, definitely not what I would have done with a sequel to, you know, one of the most iconic games of all time. Uh, Risk. It is Risk on the Genesis. Not much to say about board game ports. Sonic Classes and Classics includes three classic Sonic games. Um, I'm not sure which ones are on here. I would assume 1, 2, and Mean Bean Machine. I don't know. I mean, obviously I've played all these Sonic games, but I'm not super familiar where I got that cart from. Stargate? Um, Joe Montana's Real Talk Football. I don't... Oh, no. That's not let this pile of games fall. Let's keep moving on. Yeah, I'm not... Some of the stuff I forgot I had with some of these. Here's a really good one. I think Streets of Rage is awesome. This is Streets of Rage 3. Streets of Rage is awesome. Some of the awesome music by uh, Yuzo Koshiro. Um, I believe that's his name. Uh, you know, awesome graphics for 16-bit era. I really think that Streets of Rage really is like the premier beat-em-up um, kind of brawler, 2D brawler uh, franchise. Um, awesome stuff. Streets of Rage is great. They're making a fourth one, I believe, too. Toy Story. Uh, this is my most despised game. I'm setting it down. We're talking about this one for more than a second. This is my most despised game of all time. I absolutely loathe this game. It is so unbelievably ridiculous. I hate this game so much. Um, it's just so horrible. This is one of the ones I had as a kid. And another game that I had as a kid that I also hate will come up in this video. And I had this one as a kid. It's just so ridiculously hard. It's so ridiculously unfair. And it's just awful. I hate this game. Toy Story, the 16-bit Toy Story game. Atrocious. I despise it. And it's some stupid crap I had to grow up with. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, I've never been too big into Mortal Kombat. If I'm going to play a 16-bit fighter, I'd choose... Street Fighter any day of the week, um, so not a huge. I don't like the. I don't like how like weird and like stiff the Mortal Kombat characters feel. Vector Man, interesting game. Has some cool like Donkey Kong Country type graphics. It's not a great game by any means, um, but it's definitely cool, and uh, it's on the Genesis Classic if you want to give it a look there. I, I highly recommend the Genesis Classic. It's eighty bucks, I believe. But you can get it. I think it's usually clearance, not clearance, but on sale pretty regularly for closer to 40 or closer to 50 or 60. Uh, and it's a very comprehensive list of all the, I mean, best of the best Genesis games. Um, and too many people overlook the Genesis. Um, and the, the Super Nintendo gets a lot of love, obviously, which it deserves. But too many people overlook the Genesis for collecting or for playing. And there's so much good stuff on it. So, yeah, I mean, if you're not going to really, you know, devote to getting collecting for the Genesis, at least do yourself a favor and get yourself one of the Genesis classics. Um, well worth your time. World Class Leadership Golf. This is one of the games I got as a hand-me-down that I had as a kid as well. I don't know why I kept that, of all things. Um, X-Men 2. The Clone Wars. I know that first original Genesis X-Men game. I'm not as familiar with that one. And then Virtual Pinball, which has one of these obnoxious electronic arts cartridges that's way bigger than the other cartridges. All right, um, so now here's what's weird. I don't, I have all my Genesis games. Um, not all of them are out. So a lot of them were stored away. So I'm gonna start with this pile of games. This is games that I got more recently and, or just games I have stored away um, ones that I'm probably not going to be as likely to play. So um, these are going to be out of alphabetical order for a little bit, and then we'll get back into alphabetical order. So um, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade oh, doesn't fit in the shelf. Well, we got a problem. I'll make it fit. Okay. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for the Genesis. Um, have not tried this one yet. I have not had my Genesis hooked up in a little bit of a while, so 
any of the newer games that I've got more recently, like the last summer, I've not got a chance to check out. So there's going to be a good chunk of games in here that I've got recently that I've just not been able to check out yet. Don't need to talk about Caesar's Palace for longer than a minute. I got this one at the Goodwill like outlet store, the one where you weigh, weigh your item and then it's priced. I think it was like 40 cents or something. Um, flashback, the quest for identity. The Incredible Hulk. Um, it's not a horrible Hulk game. It's not great by any means. I've played it on Super Nintendo. Uh, but you could do much better for a Hulk game than that one. Uh, Rampart, I got this one at a Goodwill. It's like a Tengen in a cardboard box. Kind of interesting. Um, F-22 Interceptor. This, for some reason, comes in a really slim case. I've never understood why. It's also, like, taller than the other games. So it looks obnoxious on the shelf. That's why it's not out. And it comes, of course, in one of those horrible EA larger cartridges. But... Ren and Stimpy, Stimpy's Invention. Uh, I didn't really grow up with Stimpy, Ren and Stimpy. Uh, it was like a little bit before my time, so I didn't really see it. I know like the creator's like a pedophile and all-around sex fiend, um, allegedly, I guess, although I think it's pretty conclusive. Um, but I just don't really care about Ren and Stimpy. I have no affinity to it. And this game, uh, to me, is pretty bad. <laughs> it's pretty bad. <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe if you care about the the IP. Maybe you'll like it a little bit more. Don't need to talk too much about World Series Baseball, Sega Sports. I always liked how Sega had their Sega Sports line of games that they did. Um, and, you know, they went into the 2K and stuff. Uh, pretty cool. Road Rash 2. This is one I actually had the, the um, cartridge for. No, the case for forever, and I finally found the cartridge. Um, I'm not huge into Road Rash. I think it's it has its appeal. I'm not huge into Road Rash, though. I also have the first Road Rash game right here. And uh, it'd be interesting what they could do with, like, a new Road Rash game. I think they might have tried it. There's something... I think they made, like, a spiritual successor type game. I don't know if that ever came out. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what they could do with a new Road Rash game because it definitely has potential to be fun, especially with, you know, modern tech. But I've never been too huge into Road, um, road Rash. All right, we will go into the alphabetical order now. That was all the stuff that was in non-alphabetical order, starting here with the Adams family. Um, nothing. <laughs> not not great by any means, if this is the game I'm thinking of. Yeah, that's the game I'm thinking of. Yeesh. I, I think I'll pass on that one. i got to figure out where to put this stuff. Air Diver? Um, what game is this? I don't know what this is. Looks like this is a flight game. I don't remember getting that one. That might have been one of the lots I got recently. Recently, I got a really crazy Genesis lot that I haven't tried any of the games at yet because my Genesis stuff has been put away, you know, as the whole game room renovation was going on. I'll link that video in a card and I'll put it in the end slate. I got a really crazy Genesis lot of a bunch of good Genesis games, and I want to try those games pretty bad, um, but I just haven't been able to hook up my Genesis with just trying to work on the game room and trying to... I don't have any of my retro stuff hooked up, unfortunately, right now. So, just nothing. Uh, a lot of these games I've not tried, especially from that lot, which a lot of games came from. Uh, Aladdin. Um, I always preferred the uh, Capcom Super Nintendo Aladdin, but this one's still pretty fun. Uh, this, I mean, they definitely have their merits over one another. Um, but this one has that cool artwork. Um, it graphically looks more like the movie and all that, but... I think gameplay-wise, that other one is, um, I'd, I'd say, a better game overall. Alien Storm. Here's a pretty good one. Uh, Alicia Dragoon. This game's pretty interesting. It's kind of expensive now, but it is on the Genesis Classic once again. Uh, this is a pretty interesting game. I don't really know how to s describe it. It's like a side scroller kind of beat 'em up where you use like magic and stuff. I don't I don't even know if that's a good uh, description, but it's a cool game. I definitely recommend. Here's a terrible game I hate, uh, Altered Beast, which was like the pack-in launch title before Sonic for the Genesis. They were trying to sell the Genesis with Altered Beast instead of Sonic. Good luck. This game sucks. I hate this game. Altered Beast is terrible. Ariel the Little Mermaid.
Asterix in the Great Rescue. Um, I believe this is like a German comic strip series. I know it's it's European Asterix. It's Asterix and Oblix, I think. Um, this game is not bad by any means. It's kind of nice graphically for the Genesis, but as you can see here. But um, yeah, I don't. It's kind of weird. There's an Asterix game on like the Game Boy Advance. It's like a 3D platformer. That's probably more interesting. Here's a game that's great just for its name, Awesome Possum. Um, this game kind of sucks. It has a bunch of load screens, though, where it tells you about, like, and it has quizzes in between the levels talking about, like, the environment. But otherwise, that game's not great. Here's another game that kind of sucks. Um, I'm, just, I'm starting this video out where I'm like, ah, yeah, I love the Genesis. It's great. There's so many good games. And then I'm like, this game sucks. This game sucks. Uh, Balls 3D is a terrible, terrible fighting game with a funny name. Batman Returns. Try to, which Batman game is this? There's a really good Batman game. I think it's Batman Returns. It's a really good 2D like side scroller brawler on the Super Nintendo. I don't know if it's the same. I don't think it's the same game over on Genesis though. There is a really good brawler Batman game on the Super Nintendo though, and I don't think it's that version. Here's a cool one: Battle Toads Double Dragon. This was one I got at a Goodwill for really cheap, and this is a pretty good game. Another dud, Bubsy. Um, interestingly, this is a Bubsy. Uh, Bubsy is actually, the first one at least, is actually an off-brand cartridge, uh, which you don't really see too much in the 16-bit era. That's more of an NES thing. Um, but yeah, it's an off-brand cartridge. Uh, and my copy has... Unless it doesn't. Or, oh, here it is. This I think this is a cursed item that everyone needs to be able to see. Mine has this Bubsy um, postcard. So, there you go. And this actually, interestingly, um, tells you about the Bubsy animated series that they did one episode of that was so horrible that they did not pick up as a full show. You can find, I think, the Bubsy cartoon, and even the voice actor for Bubsy like makes fun of it and was like, "I can't believe I got a paycheck for that." I was surprised. This is a pretty good one. A uh, pretty good side scrolling. The world, the Illusion series, the Mickey Illusion series, World of Illusion, Castle Illusion. Um, good games. Pretty good side scrolling platformers. Here's a game that's interesting, but ultimately not very good. Echo the Dolphin, or this is Echo Tides of Time. I think this is a sequel. Um, these games, I, they could be really interesting. I don't think there's enough games that take place like underwater. That could be a cool concept, but these games are just weird and kind of really hard. And just kind of overall maybe a little bit just not what it should be. Eternal Champions? I don't know what's up with these characters. <laughs> but it's like a I don't know X-Mutants this looks like like rip-off X-Men type characters um, here this is Exile here this is complete and this is um, kind of an RPG it's kind of like um, in a way Zelda 2 where they have like a side-scrolling and an RPG from what I remember um, but you don't get too many RPGs on the Genesis, so it's always cool to see one. Uh, F-117 Nightstorm. Not a huge into, like, you know, flight stuff, especially retro flight, flight type games like that. Fantasia, another pretty solid Disney 2D platformer. This is, like, one of the games I got here recently... Uh, in that big lot that I've not had a chance to play these, but it really intrigued me. Uh, a lot of the games I got from this lot here are from this company called DreamWorks. Not like the DreamWorks Animation Studio that we know. And they're in these bizarre cartridges that are like all white, no color. Um, a lot of them are like this. I haven't gotten a chance, like I said, to try these out. I just got these in like September, August. Um, I'll put that video. I think it was, I think it was into September, um, if not even maybe October. But uh, yeah, really strange cartridges, really strange. I don't know who uh, DreamWorks is, 
that version of DreamWorks at the very least. This is another one of those weird games. A lot this lot of Genesis games I got from this guy. Um, I got a lot of strange games I'd never seen before, including this one, which I don't know what the heck this is, and it has like a multi-language version on the back. Very weird. If anyone knows any about thing about this stuff, uh, let me know. Goofy's Historical History Tour. Um, I don't know this one personally. Uh, I'm not too familiar. I think I've tried it out before. Uh, back in the day, I used to really, you know, every time I get a, a game, I at least try to try it out for a little bit, maybe a half hour or so. But I get so many games now, especially, you know, during garage season, where it's hard to try to sit down uh, and try to, you know, figure out what is about every game. So I don't know, really remember that one. Ghostbusters, this is actually kind of an expensive game now. Uh, I got this at a garage sale for a buck or two. Um, but the, I, this is, of of the retro... Ghostbusters games, uh, this is probably the best one. Although it's not much of a competition. Another game I had growing up, Jurassic Park. I don't really like this one too much. I don't <laughs> necessarily think it's a very good tie-in game. They also made a sequel, which I have, and it's in one of these cardboard boxes. Um, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. King's Bounty, The Conqueror's Quest. Another one of these games with this atrocious EA cartridge. Although this one might actually have a purpose for that because it might be um, might have safe functionality in it because it is like an RPG. Um, number two. This is my other, my number two most hated game under Toy Story. Another game I grew up as a kid. This game's horrible. This game sucks. It's ridiculously hard for no reason. <laughs> like these kids are coming out here being like, "Oh yeah, let's just get a fun, let's get a fun little Lion King game," you know. And then you get stuck with this crap and that the level with all like the whatever those the wildebeest things coming you coming at you horrible. I hate this game. Lotus Two looks like a racing game. The Lost Vikings, this is an old Blizzard game. Blizz yeah, a Blizzard game. And um, I knew it was like a prominent developer today. Uh, but yeah, it's an old Blizzard game. Uh, cool concept. Uh, they did three different protagonists before Grand Theft Auto V, so we can say that uh, more more influential to gaming than Grand Theft Auto V, we'll say. Um, but yeah, cool concept. I'm not in love with the game by any means, but it is a fun, you know, if you get the chance to try it out, it's fun. Mario Andretti Racing, though, you know, this is another game that I had, I was given, you know, way back in the day. And funnily enough, actually, my dad was at an event, I remember what it was for, or what it was, and Mario Andretti was there, and he came, you know, he came home and he was telling me, oh yeah, and Mario Andretti was there. And I was like, oh man, could you imagine, <laughs> I should have sent him this, this game, could you imagine if he got the artwork, that's got this game signed by Mario Andretti, it would be, <laughs> it would be such a good item to own kind of like as a joke like this genesis game no one cares about but it's signed by mario andretti um i don't i'm probably the only one that thinks that's funny but that would be a great item to own just because of how weird it would be um this is another game i got from that lot that i've not tried out um it looks kind of like a, almost like a contra or like looks like kind of jackal and contra mixed together by the back um but i have not tried this one out yet and i'd never seen this one before a lot of the games I got in that lot were like $50 games, and $50 plus games in there. Real quick, I'll talk about Monopoly. It's Monopoly on the uh, Genesis. Nothing I can say. Got here uh, the Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Uh, if I remember right, I believe Mortal Kombat was with one of the games, was one of the games I got given to me. Either that or my friend who also had it bizarrely... My friend got a Genesis given to him from his uncle, I believe, growing up. So we both played like Genesis games, even though the system was pretty old at that point. Um, probably 10 years old at that point. Um, oh, it would have been more than 10 years old because it came out in 89. I, I always forget. I always think it came out in 91 because I think everyone thinks that. But yeah, this system um, 
was <laughs> old at this point. So it was, one of these was either I had, um, I lost a complete point. <laughs> I lost a complete point. Wow. I got to be probably the dumbest person on this, on YouTube. Uh, if anyone's watching this, I'm very sorry. Uh, yeah, so we, this is a game I remember playing as a kid. Probably shouldn't have played it with it as a kid. Although I wasn't good enough to like come across fatalities or anything. So, and I can't remember if it was a game that I had or my, my friend had. Um, Miss Pac-Man. Uh, you know, not as bad as like the Atari port, but you're better off playing Miss Pac-Man on the, on the arcades or something. Uh, Mutant League Football. Kind of an interesting idea. It has a lot of character. I think they tried bringing this back as well. I don't think it worked out very well. But um, I don't really like sports games, so it doesn't speak to me. But it is an interesting and pretty fun concept. Mystic Defender. Uh, I don't. Is this one of the ones I haven't tried? I don't remember this one. This is probably one of the ones that I got in that lot because. I don't remember this. This is definitely one of the ones I got in that lot. It's a... I was just about to say, this is kind of an expensive game, and then I just dropped it. Um, this is a, this video is a disaster. I think this is probably the worst video ever. Um, yeah, Onslaught. I have not tried this one yet. It is another one like that Bubsy that is an off-brand cartridge. Accolade may try to make in their own cartridges. Oh, does this come with a postcard, too? No, this is just a... Uh, mail-in order thing. That would have been awesome if that was, it came with a postcard, too, of the Onslaught guy telling you about his new cartoon or whatever. Paperboy 2. Um, you know, of the old, you know, class, when you think of classic, like, arcade games and just classic gamey games, like, you know, Mario or Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, you think of these real old games, um, Frogger, Space Invaders, and some people think about Paperboy, and I, I don't really... <laughs> it's not one that I think really you know, stands up. A lot of people put it in the same category as a lot of those classics, uh, but I just don't think it stands up nearly as much. I just dropped that one, that, and it just flew way out of reach. That is Pebble Beach Golf Links. Um, I don't need to show that one, because who cares? Um, Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure. Now, this game is hilarious in the fact um, that at the end credits, I believe this is the game, at the end credits... Your main guy comes up to save his dad, and he says, Dad, there you are. And then the dad's up there is the little, like, four-bit guy from the original um, Pitfall game. And he's, like, trapped, and he's like, Son, what took you so long? And for some reason, it's just, look up that ending. It's so funny. Uh, we got here Aerosmith Revolution X. <laughs> yeah. I think not much needs to be said. Here's Road Rash 3. I'm not sure why those that... Those other two are not out, but that one is. RoboCop 3. RoboCop versus Terminator. This one on the Super Nintendo has a really cool box. Here's an awesome game. Definitely check this one out, Rocket Knight Adventures. This one, unfortunately, I don't think is on the Genesis Classic, um, but this one is great. This is such an awesome game. Definitely just a hidden, underrated gem on the Genesis definitely worth checking out and i think they tried to bring rocket knight back about 10 years ago on 360 didn't quite work out another one that they brought back recently although i don't think it ever really went away uh samurai showdown shadow dancer the secret of shinobi this video i tell you this video you know you can feel free to press dislike on this one i i won't no hard feelings um, yes, Shadow Dancer, The Secret of Shinobi. This is another one that I got. I think I got it the same day as I got Ghostbusters. Here's a classic that they also brought back. It's still bad. Shaq Fu. This game is incredibly, um, just awesomely terrible. Really great stuff. Just <laughs> ridiculous. I'm so glad it exists. Here's another one that's pretty bad. Uh, Simpsons Bart vs. the Space Mutants. This one, I found it at a Goodwill, actually, and it's pretty expensive. Um, Soldis or Sold Deuce. Uh, pretty cool, um, you know, side-scrolling shooter. All right, we're going into Sonic time now, and I might have a little bit of a, a Sonic rant. Um, so, 
There are people out there who say there's never been a good Sonic game. Sonic is never good. Those people are wrong. Um, Sonic is predominantly bad now at this point. But classic Sonic is great. Um, not counting Sonic 3D Blast. That game is kind of terrible. Um, but Sonic 1, 2, and 3. 3 and Knuckles especially. Sonic 3 is probably one of my favorite 16-bit era games. Uh, it's so good. Sonic 3 and Knuckles is so good. Sonic 2 is so good. Uh, the original Sonic's a little bit rougher. I don't think that one's quite as good, but it's still a good game. So don't let anyone tell you that Sonic was never good. And Sonic Mania, fantastic. Sonic Mania is great. So don't let anyone tell you Sonic was never good because they were wrong um, and they are idiots. Uh, except Sonic 3D Blast is terrible. Spider-Man, it took us quite a while to get to a good Spider-Man game. Although, you know, like uh, Maximum Carnage and stuff like that was pretty decent. Street Fighter 2, um, I always kind of consider uh, Street Fighter as more of a Super Nintendo thing, but it was, of course, on the Genesis, and of, you know, there's nothing you can say about Street Fighter 2 that has not already been said. I've already talked about how awesome Streets of Rage is. Streets of Rage is awesome, and Streets of Rage... Two is still awesome. Sword of Vermilion. This is another really weird one that I got in that lot from that guy. And it came with this like pretty thick manual kind of book that doesn't fit in the thing. Um, but pretty cool. Terminator 2, the arcade game. Another one of those weird DreamWorks games. Target Earth. Not tried this one out, like I said, but... I'm, what am I supposed to color it in or something? Looks like a, it looks like I'm supposed to color it with like markers or something. I'm not going to do that. This is one of the games I grew up with. Um, I this is some of the early memories of gaming that I have is playing this game. Um, I have not played it since then. I liked it as a kid, but I don't think it probably would be necessarily great now. Um, so I'm just going to leave those memories in the past. Um, Tasmania as well, although I did not grow up playing that one. Uh, Tiny Toons, Buster's Hidden Treasure. Uh, these Tiny Toon games, I, once again, a little bit too young for Tiny Toons, but um, these Tiny Toon games are all made by Konami, and they're all pretty solid 2D platformers. Uh, if you can pick them up on the cheap, and you're kind of looking for something fun, it, it probably means makes mean more to you um, to have it, actually, you know, if you liked uh, Tiny Toons. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd recommend them. Sorry, I got lost in thought there because I realized I have another copy of Toy Story. This one's in the box, so I got to get rid of that loose cart copy. Um, I don't know why I had another one of those, but I don't. I don't need that many copies in my house. I don't want that cursed energy in my house. Uh, World of Illusion, like I said. Um, also, uh, some I have some of them on Game Gear, and um, I believe they went on with this series. And I think they did. If I'm thinking right, I think they did a World of Illusion remaster but it got delisted but yeah these are pretty good platformers and then the old x-men to round out the whole video here uh x-men and that's that so yeah i'm a big fan of the genesis i know maybe it didn't sound like that because of how many games i hate um that i have but it, it's mostly fun i don't really feel that strongly about a game like that um, I don't feel that strongly about Toy Story on Genesis. Um, but yeah, I mean, pretty cool library. I definitely would recommend trying to start collecting for it. Um, you know, some prices are going up, um, but you can still, there's still plenty of good prices to be found for the system. And I think it's really just worthwhile checking out. Uh, if you're a retro collector especially, and you've never tried collecting for Genesis, I'd highly recommend it. Um... You know, if you're big into, especially if you're big into 16-bit, because there's so many good 16-bit classic games on this system that you may have not checked out before. Um, so definitely give it a shot. And uh, if you don't want to start collecting, but you'd like to try some of these games out, once again, I highly recommend the uh, Sega Genesis Mini System. Not the crappy at games ones, the actual one made by Sega in-house. Uh, it's really good. The emulation is really good. The controllers are, are like spot on. And the game lineup, it has 40 games, and they're all solid. Uh, definitely a great library there. Uh, and yeah, it retails for 80 but you can regularly get it for 50 to 60 uh, on discount nowadays. So highly recommend that as well. 
Uh, as well, please recommend me some Genesis games that you like. Uh, I have a reasonably sized library, but I don't have everything. Most of my Genesis stuff I do just get from garage sailing and, and flea marketing and all that. I don't usually buy Genesis games when I go to game stores or conventions or stuff. It's not a huge focus of mine, even though I really like the system. Uh, so yeah, definitely recommend me games. One of my favorite games on the system is Gunstar Heroes, which I don't have a copy of, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, definitely, you know, give me some of your favorite Genesis games in the comments below. Um, sorry that this video was kind of all over the place. Um, if for some sick reason you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, it definitely helps out the channel, getting it spread around, getting the videos put into recommended stuff. And the channel's been, you know, steadily growing pretty well, so I thank you for that. Let's keep that up. Let's try to hit 2,000 subscribers soon, uh, getting close. So let's try to keep that up there. Uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter at Objo Gaming. And I also am on Instagram. I don't use that quite as much, but I'm going to probably try to start getting into that again soon. And I will see you next time.